I celebrate you, you celebrate me. With a hand in hand, we are walking in our destiny. Come on, honey, let me show you here. Yes, celebration time. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's a celebration. Hey, good morning. Thank you for joining us. It is a great day to be alive. I have on set with me a wonderful, phenomenal man of God. I have to just say this. Very young, but innovative and talented. And I'm just going to expl explain, you know, one of the things that I want you to understand that God has a plan and purpose for your life. You just have to walk into it. How do I do that, Tammy? Well, my guest is going to show you step by step. Good morning. And thank you for joining us. God bless you. God bless you. You know, when I first met you, I, I told you this, and I have to say this now for them to hear. Your name stands out alone. Mm -hmm. It really, when you hear Courtney Westbrook, it's like you think about the basketball player. But there's just some distinction about your name. But I want you to share. You didn't always like your name. No, you? no, no. I, I didn't actually. Um, when I was coming up, teenager, I actually despised my name. Really? Yes, because, you know, it's a unisex name. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go for a girl and a mm -hmm. guy. And I got teased a lot. But you spell it name. differently. I spell it C-O-R-T-N-E-Y. Okay, and most girls have the, the vowel U. And so yeah, yeah. And a lot of people spell it with, with K's and they do. I's at the they end. They do. Um, so for a long time, I didn't like my name. Yeah. And uh, about six or seven months ago, God started dealing with me about it um, because I wanted to, you know, I, I didn't want to brand myself. I didn't want to be out and, you know, I kind of like wanted to be behind the scenes, mm -hmm. um, you know, but, but God put in me the gifts and talents that he has. Yeah. And so he's, you know, it's you, you know, yeah. I've given it to you. I haven't given it to someone else yeah. to be out front. So you just got to. You just pat me on the butt and get on out there. Push, <laughs> go forward. Yeah. I love how you just said you wanted to be behind the scene. God mm -hmm. has a way of even when you're trying not to be seen, mm -hmm. He just elevates you more yes. for you to be seen yeah. by men. And and that's the word. You know, your gifts and talents will make room for you. Right. And I can truly say that God has elevated you in that capacity. So yes. once again, I want to say thank you so very much for joining us. Absolutely. And those that are watching right now, I, I really want you just to get a pen and paper because this is not just a regular fly-by segment. This is going to take you to another level of thinking. And I want to start off by saying, when I say the word kingdom, what comes to your mind? Um, Jesus mm -hmm. comes to my mind mm -hmm. um, because for so long, Jesus walked the earth and he taught the kingdom. A lot of people didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't. You know, they couldn't put a name to it. A lot of people didn't understand it. Yeah. Um, you know, so so that's what Jesus taught when he was when he was on the earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so kingdom to me is God's way of doing things. I love that. You know, God has a way that He does things, yeah. and we do it first because it's right. And mm -hmm. then when we do, everything else is going to be added to us. Mm -hmm. Matthew six thirty three: Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. One of my favorites. Yeah. Seek the what? The kingdom first. The kingdom. The Instead kingdom of seeking first. things, we yes. should be seeking the kingdom. Yeah, it's but, kingdom then things. But many times we seek things and it's, oh God, bless me with this house. Bless me yeah. with this car. Yeah. And once he allows us to get it, okay, we may not be able to afford it. Right. But God will allow you to get it because you asked for it. Yeah, and then he's not obligated to to help you. He's not obligated to, you know, send the business or the clients or whatever to help you pay for it because you didn't seek the kingdom first. Kingdom. kingdom and, first. and the thing that I love, you know, scripturally based when we talk about kingdom, when God adds something onto you, there's no sorrow. No, no, no. None no at sorrow. all. No. You know, I could just yeah. really just talk about that in itself, but I want those that are watching right now to write this word down. King dome. And when you look at that, there's king in there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the way we should see ourselves as, because he's that's what, as, yes. as kings, right? Yes. Tell yes. us a little Absolutely. bit of, uh, more about that. Because I know your ministry, where you are, where are you um, fellowshipping, affiliated with? What church? Um, the King's Dome at mm -hmm. Kingdom Seekers Church. Uh, mm -hmm. That's here in Tupelo. Uh, Pastor Kevin and Melanie Armstrong. Awesome, man. Yeah. Of God. And so, yes, we are all kings. Mm -hmm. You know, when I first went to that church, I didn't hear anything about a king. You know, I, I didn't know anything about that. You know, mm -hmm. but when he said, you know, you're God's greatest miracle. You know, he didn't create anyone like you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're original. You're a masterpiece, one of a kind. Mm -hmm. You are a king. And so when I went and I heard that, I'm like, what? I'm Courtney, man. I'm not a king, mm -hmm. you know. But but I started learning about God's kingdom, and, and that's my mentality. Was it life-changing for you? Oh, absolutely. Life-changing. Life-changing, that's, that's not even... That doesn't even explain it. Mm -hmm. That doesn't even describe it. Mm -hmm. uh, before I went to Kingdom Seekers Church, my life uh, was in shambles. You know, I'm a musician, so I went to church to to play 
and uh, to get that check and be out. Yeah. And for a, for years, didn't get a check. You know yeah. what I mean? So it wasn't even about the money. It was tradition, about tradition. Yeah, going. it was tradition. I wasn't listening to the word. wasn't growing. And uh, and so when I came to Kingdom Seekers Church, I said, okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit under the ministry, mm -hmm. I don't want nobody to say nothing to me, I just want to get this word so I can learn and go, and go. Mm -hmm. but you know, God has a different plan, yeah. he had a different plan for my life, so my life, it, my life was terrible. Wow, so when we think of Courtney the person, um, when you say terrible, how? Were you lost uh, as far as finances, what was going on with your life that was just so dramatic? Oh wow, <laughs> we don't have enough time. <laughs> but but I was I was in church, mm -hmm. and you know I always had this persona of the nice guy. Courtney's oh he's a nice guy, he's quiet. But behind closed doors, totally different story. Oh my goodness, completely different. You know, so my life was I was living a double life. Mm -hmm. I would come to church and and play the music, and oh your music is so anointed, and you know and I'm like okay thank you yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, get up and, and, and speak in front of people. And people just had this nice persona about Courtney. Yeah. Uh, but when I left church, completely different story. Oh, my. Completely. I mean, from smoking, yeah. drinking, mm -hmm. um, you know, the ladies. And now, you know, that somebody that's watching is going, what? I can't believe that. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. Totally yeah. different lifestyle. Completely different lifestyle. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that about me. Yeah. A lot of people don't. Uh, but yeah, I would, I mean, I would leave church and, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes even on my way to church, mm -hmm. you know, smoking, mm -hmm. I wasn't a big drinker, but I did get, yeah. I, I did drink a few times, yeah. but smoking was a big deal for me, mm -hmm. you know, smoking. So, so did you find fulfillment in that or what you were looking for or what were you seeking at that time? Do you know? I really, I really don't know what I was seeking. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I know I was lost. Um, I am, I'm a, I'm a, I'm the knee baby, as they say, yeah. four children. Um, and so I'm completely different now than the rest of my family. Wow. You know, I, I'm completely different. So at that time, I really didn't know who I was. And you know, they always say this. Um, I've heard family in different, I guess you could say, socioeconomic backgrounds. Mm -hmm. The knee baby always feels left out yeah. in a sense. Like yeah. everybody has a purpose except mm -hmm. for me. What about me? Did you yeah. feel that way? Somewhat. Yeah, to a certain extent I did. I didn't know who I was. I was, you know, at that time I was in college and... You know, doing whatever you want to do in college and what comes along with that life. So wow. I really didn't know who Courtney was. Wow. You know, so I was just taking everything in. Wow. You know we're gonna I mean? come right back after okay. this commercial break, and we're gonna talk about how Courtney, the person, transitioned into this businessman that we're looking at right now, this fine suit and tie. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Tired of bill collectors or about to lose your home or car? The Mayfield Law Firm has over 35 years of experience. We can file your bankruptcy in less than 24 hours. The first appointment is free and the deposit is only $399. Hello, I'm Kenneth Mayfield with the Mayfield Law Firm. We have the experience, our service is superb, and our reputation is stellar. Why sell for less when you can afford the best? Call the Mayfield Law Firm with offices in Tupelo and in Memphis. Convenient free parking at both locations. All right, let's go back into this. So, all right, this double life, but yet it's still, you're still routinely going to church, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go a little bit more into depth. You visit King Dome, right? The King's Dome. The King's Dome, mm -hmm. let me say it correctly, which is not a Jehovah Witness church. Let it's me say not. that. I can say that this is a Tammy Tub show. Please, if you've never experienced it, go visit. What is the address? Because I want them to actually know where you're physically located. It's 1243 Nail Street, Tupelo, Mississippi, 38801. Amen. Anointed, life-changing, and I'm telling you, your life will never be the same because the word is being taught. Yes. It's not emotionalism, as I call it, yeah. but it's it changes your life. It makes you think beyond where you are, but that's another story in itself. Now let's let's get back into this. So now, okay, you're, you're smoking, you're drinking, but yet still you're faithfully going to church. Yeah. What turned your life to the point where you were seeking after God? What what transpired in your life? Um, when I got married, mm -hmm. that that was kind of the the stepping stone. That was the the, the next stone, another chapter, another book actually in my life. It's something um, about women, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and so when I got married, I, I had to make some changes because I was bringing someone else into my life, mm -hmm. someone else to, that I had to take care of. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, and I was still learning how to be a man. So um, so when I got married, first of all, when I was at the church, you know, God bless everyone there, but I wasn't always accepted. People okay. didn't really like me. Okay. They, they liked me on the outside, you know what I mean? But there was a lot of jealousy and envy and backbiting and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think you get that in small doses, yeah. maybe in large doses, everywhere you go. Everywhere. You know, but it, this was blown out of proportion. Oh. Um, I. And this is so funny because I was ridiculed a lot. I was talked about a lot. At the beginning of the year, I'd be a womanizer. And by the end of the year, I'd be a homosexual. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And, I mean, I've had meetings after meetings. That's and torture. I'm, that is torture. That is torture. And so no one was happy for me there. And uh, I knew I had to leave. And uh, my wife, she wasn't happy with my girlfriend at the time. She wasn't happy with it. So, um, so I had to leave. Now let me go back because I want someone that's watching not to get this confused at all. This is not the cur at the church you're presently at. Right. This was Previous the church, church that you were just traditionally going. Yes. Okay, I want to yes. make that clear for yeah. someone because yeah. I don't want to start gossip. I know how we right. are. Yeah, no gossip, people, please. Come yes. On. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, when I got married, that was a that was a complete changing point. Mm -hmm. um, if my wife and I would have stayed at that church. We would probably be divorced right now. Oh wow! You know, not not to bad mouth or backbite or yeah. talk about the church in any way. Yeah. You know, that's certainly not my intentions. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's the people. Of you know course. what I mean? So if we just stayed, we'd have been divorced. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and if, if I hadn't have been at this church now, I'd still be divorced, even though I left that church. Wow. Yeah, because you know when you go when you get married young, mm -hmm. you never live with a person. And you had to go through all that stuff, the learning and all that. Oh, yeah. And uh, Pastor Kevin, he was really, really there for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a point that I wanted to walk out. We was, all have those moments. Yeah. Was, you go back home to your mama. Yeah. She's in Gary, Indiana. You can go with her and I'll be good. You know. And but, then you come to yourself. It's like, what was I thinking? You come to myself. So what, what really attracted you to her? Oh, wow. Um, I'll say, first of all, she, she came down, she's from Gary, Indiana, mm -hmm. and she came out here every year mm -hmm. to her home to church. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I went to the, that, that was the church I went to. And so I knew her, kind of knew of her. I didn't really know her, nor her. You know, she'd come to our house sometimes. We'd have, you know, little get-togethers on Sunday mm -hmm. evenings. And, uh, and so what really attracted me to her was she was mean to me. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Yes, she a was. challenge. <laughs> yes. Men yes. love challenges, women that are listening to me. If you're easy, yeah, that's, that's not a good, say. That's not a good say. word. Okay, keep going. Uh, so yeah, she was mean to me. You know, she would she would curse me out. Mm -hmm. She would fuss at me. And uh, and and I told her one night. I said, I looked at her in the eyes. I said, you know what? You're gonna be nice to me. <laughs> you're gonna like me, and you're gonna respect me. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I said, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And so I got her phone number that night, and from that night forward. We began to court, you know, over and that was the best period. thing that you could have. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm looking yes. at you now and listening to how you said you were as far as a womanizer. There are certain women that are not going to put up with certain things, and yeah. I can tell that she was just like, "It's not happening here. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. This is not happening." Yeah. So from um, growing up a businessman, you know, and transitioning into who we see today. How did all of that come about? You're now at your new church. You're prospering. You're growing in the word. It, as most of the time we say, you, we're fat in the word. Mm -hmm. You have to do something with your gifts and talents. Mm -hmm. When did you know that it's time for me to become an entrepreneur? Uh, when I went to Kingdom Seekers Church, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> when, I, when I went there, I heard a million times, after today, your life will never be the same. I've heard that a million times in every church that I've gone to, mm -hmm. and my life never changed. So when I went there, and they did the, the greeting. After today, your life will never be the same. I said, lady, my life is going to still be the same when I left here. But believe it or not, my life changed from that, from that day forward. My life changed. Oh. Um, I, I wasn't the same person because of the way the word was taught. It was broke down, um, you know, and I could, I could understand it. Your mindset was changing. Yeah, my mindset was changing. Mm -hmm. And so being there, you know, I, I wanted to be a part of the ministry at that mm -hmm. point you know I was starting to grow get this new word in me I'm a king you know I'm in the kingdom I wanted to grow and so I started helping Pastor Kevin helping the church you know whatever the case may be mm -hmm. um, you know helping with the computers and stuff I always like computers wasn't it still computer humble key. yeah still humble you know I just want to lend a helping hand mm -hmm. you know you know I'm a problem solver you know I wish think I think all men are so yes they are you know I'm a problem solver so if I see a, a problem I'm gonna jump on ahead first let me stop you right yeah. there number two men love to solve problems ladies stop trying yes. to figure everything <laughs> out allow him to do what he needs to do That's give right. him time and space That's right. and I guarantee you it'll all work out thank yeah, you for that work. point number two continue <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, so I, I just wanted to help out. Yeah. You know, I, I just wanted to jump in there any way that I can, lend a helping hand. Mm -hmm. um, I started attaching myself to Pastor Kevin. We'd hang out after service or mm -hmm. go to his house on Sunday evenings. And, uh, and they're entrepreneurs. They have been for, you know, 20 plus years. Well, this is the thing. If you want something greater, you have to connect yourself to someone Absolutely. more greater than who you are and Absolutely. what you have. That's right. It's, it's really, truly impossible for someone to take you to a place they've never they've gone. They've never gone, yes. It's, it's impossible. Yeah. So that was wisdom, even in the making of how you said you attach yourself because I need a mentor mm -hmm. to move from point A to mm -hmm. point B. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah, that's right. And he said, you know, whatever gifts in you, I'm going to get him out. Mm -hmm. I may get on your nerves. Mm -hmm. You may not like me in the process, mm -hmm. but I'm going to get him out. And he did. Mm -hmm. He drew out everything that was in me that I didn't know was in me. So what were those gifts that he that he pulled out of you? Uh, well, first of all, in, in the, the, the graphic design, mm -hmm. there was a gentleman there. He gave me some software on a computer. I said, man, I don't know nothing about this stuff, but I like to learn. Yeah. So, uh, so I jumped into that head first, got the software, uh, the graphic design. So I worked on, you know, websites and mm -hmm. logos, business cards, print media, all that good stuff. Yeah. And uh, and so it was it was that, and then the media, and then the audio, video, setting up the sound, and all wow. that stuff. So from all of that, now you are a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. Help me out, cause I can't name all those titles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't either. Photographer. Photographer. Yeah. Audio, video technician. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And you even have a new magazine that's coming out. What's the name of it? E Squared Magazine. E Squared Magazine. I'm excited for you. We're gonna come back and jump into all of the, the facets of everything that you do and how you balance it, because okay. it's just not a business. It's ministry. Yeah, absolutely. It's ministry. Absolutely. And those that are watching, if you can get to that point where you realize that you may have to lose to win sometimes, mm -hmm. especially in ministry, but God will. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Have you been injured in an automobile accident? The Mayfield Law Firm has over 35 years of experience handling auto accident cases. The first appointment is free, and you pay nothing unless we win your case. Hello, I'm Kenneth Mayfield with the Mayfield Law Firm. We have the experience, our service is superb, and our reputation is stellar. Why sell for less when you can afford the best? Call the Mayfield Law Firm with offices in Tupelo and in Memphis. Convenient free parking at both locations. Hey, I'm back, and I know you're enjoying the segment, but I want to take this opportunity to address some of the, my um, viewers. They ask the question, why do I not have my Diva Cups? Well, Courtney, I want to share with them this simple you know, thing. Um, when God really uh, began to deal with me, he began to deal with me as far as my mindset. And I was instructed to get everything out of my home that really represented poverty. So there were some pots and pans, you know, that were rusty and scraped. You love them, you know, they're wonderful. And some dishes and cups and goblets and glasses. I had to get rid of it. And, and I know we talked about, you know, the kingdom. Do you agree that it is something that we need to do? A fresh start. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely do. Because whatever is around you, you're going to reflect that. Mm -hmm. you know, that's going to reflect your personality or, you know, your wardrobe, mm -hmm. whatever the case may be. So if it's not looking like where you want to be, get rid of it. Get rid of it. It's that simple. So even if in our home and even on set, you won't see the the mugs anymore. Only thing you'll see, I call them my champagne glasses, goblets, it depends on what area that you're in, if you're at a wedding. But I walk around the house even with just water, juice, and I think about, you know, that God wants me to have the best. And so I want to challenge you all on today. Just try it. Go to the Dollar Tree. One dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Pick them up. Just some juice and water. And just see how you feel versus having just a plastic cup. That's right. It's something about, you know, just the mentality. Mm -hmm. I know what they say about Mississippians, but I'm here to help change that mentality and the stigma that's on us as a whole. I love you all so very much. Anything you want to add to that, Courtney, of just this empowerment segment? Yeah, you got to hold it right. Come on. You can't hold it like this. You know, you, you have to hold it like this. Put it in between your fingers. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> you gotta I hold love it right. It. I love it. That's what you see in the movies. Yeah, but that's, that's right. exactly how that's it right. should be for that's the right. most part. Well, I love you all so very much. I just wanted to take a moment to empower you to let you know that the best is yet to come. But in order to change your world, you have to change your mind. Attention Mississippi and surrounding areas. It's the $39 vehicle acquisition event at Car City Used Car Superstore in Tupelo. If you've got just $39 to put down, you can take over payments as low as $79 a month and drive the vehicle of your dreams today during our grand opening celebration. Our big selection means a price and payment to fit any budget. Every make, every model, with guaranteed credit approval. We say yes. You're approved. Drive away today. $39 down and take over payments as low as $79 a month at Car City in Tupelo, where you come first. 
Hey, we're back. If you are just joining us on this morning, we're having an awesome, just wonderful time here on set. Talk to Mr. Courtney Westbrook, entrepreneur, businessman here in the Tupelo area. And I tell you, if you don't know, then you need to get to know him. Let's just say it as simple as it is. And that's just something I just really want to empower our viewers now. Photographer, uh, graphic designer. I want to focus on right now the magazine. Okay. Why? What's the purpose? The purpose of this magazine is to be a platform for people and entrepreneurs. Initially, it started out just for entrepreneurs and business, and, uh, and then God kind of started leading me, you know, going through the steps, doing, working out the business plan. Um, and, and I thought back to what Pastor Kevin teaches us, mm -hmm. you know, people. Mm -hmm. When you promote people, God will promote you. Yes. You know, his profit is people. Our profit is money. I love that. Say that yeah. one more time. God's profit is people. Our profit is money. Now, when you're saying profit, spell that word, because I, I don't want anyone to get confused. You know, I have to break things down here because people watch television. They have a tendency to repeat what they hear. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you're saying profit, spell that word for them. And that's going to be on the screen so you all can see it. P R O F I T. Yes, we all love profit. Yes, we are, we do. We do. Whether it's, whether it's financial or whether it's you know mm -hmm. connections, networking, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. gain you know prof, profitable gain. And uh, and so this magazine is going to be to promote people. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever the, whatever it is that you have going on, the Tammy Tub Show. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you're a business owner or if you make bracelets out of your garage, you know, yeah. I want to know about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because when we promote people, God will promote us. Amen. Even when we don't want to be promoted, we're okay. trying to. Hey, that's trying to hide, like you were saying earlier. God will promote us. Oh, yeah. And I, I love that because there are so many business owners, people that are working in their homes, but they have a great product. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I've gone Absolutely. to the Tupelo flea market here, and my mind is like, how on earth did they come up with this idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sky Why is this not yeah. in the you know in the mm -hmm. marketplace? That's right. That's but right. someone has to push them, yeah. you know, to say, hey, that's a great product. We need to promote it. And I think that's a wonderful um, God idea. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A good idea is not a God idea. Oh, no. And you yeah. have to be able to know the difference. Absolutely. Every good idea is not a God idea. That's right. And it comes through relationship, mm -hmm. you know, relationship with God. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but this magazine would not only be for, you know, just the local people or your average Joe. This would be for the, the famous people, the, the public figures, the celebrities, mm -hmm. you know, the major artists. Uh, you know, music artists, it's going to be for them as well because what I want to do is bridge the gap between the two. Definitely. Because let's just say the, the person that's the guy that's working nine to five at the factory, you know, at Toyota, yeah. um, you know, every day, you know, but he's a musician mm -hmm. and on, on the weekend he goes to play at the restaurants or hotels or clubs or whatever, Definitely. whatever the case may be, Definitely. or even playing, you know, on Sunday morning in church, wonderful. you know, and has that wonderful talent. Mm -hmm. But if he's not out there, no one could ever benefit from it. Definitely. You know what I mean? He could have what the music industry is missing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if you don't get connected, if there's nothing in between to connect you, it'll never happen. And so that. I want this magazine to bridge the gap. And, and when you were talking, I really heard God say, what you make happen for others, I make happen for you. Absolutely. And then that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah. You know, you're promoting, doing what they probably could never do. But if someone mm -hmm. picks your magazine up or right. even go online mm -hmm. and say, wait a minute, where is he? Let me get in contact with him. Yeah. So this is a wonderful opportunity, not only just for those that are saying, I don't know how I'm going to make it, but business owners who've been in business for years. Yes, yes. Years, and, and they're not uh, moving forward. Mm -hmm. And, and you all have heard me say this so many times. When God is in it, three things will show up. Provision, increase, and favor. If you right. don't see yeah. those things, then you need to go back and revamp and say, wait a minute, Check miss you, God. Hold up. Am I on my own out here, or did you really send me? So if you know that you have a business, I need you to connect with Courtney. Give us some contact information so they can call you uh, Facebook, because you're just a show, social media guy all over the place. Tell us. Yeah, uh, just go to CourtneyWestbrook.com. C-O-R-T-N-E-Y. That's how you spell my name. CourtneyWestbrook.com. That's my online portal. That'll take you everywhere, phone number, you know, whatever the case may be. So just go to CourtneyWestbrook.com. I love that. Now, I have to, I'm backing back, like I'm in reverse, the photographer. Mm -hmm. That wasn't something that you went to school for. I didn't go to school for any of this. Isn't that amazing? None of it. Isn't um, that amazing? I went to school for music. Uh, when I went to uh, Northeast mm -hmm. uh, Community College, I majored in, initially I majored in architecture. I always loved architecture. Mm -hmm. I'd sit in my floor when I'm a teenager drawing out blueprints, in which I still do that as well. Yeah. Um, but I went to school for, I changed my major to music. Um, so I was at the top of my class in piano, 
Um, I took saxophone lessons, so I play the piano, saxophone, the bass guitar, I, and I dabble on the drums. That's oh like goodness. a stretch for me. Musically uh, inclined. Yes, and so the photography, um, that came as a hobby. I, I didn't want to take photos. I didn't want to be a photographer, you know, at the time. Little did I know, mm -hmm. uh, but that just plays a part in the vision that God has given me. I want you to take time right now to talk to someone. When you're talking about a hobby, many times God will give us a hobby. We, oh, I just do that for fun. Mm -hmm. But he's anointed your hands yes. to be a blessing. You, yeah. You're looking, trying to get a loan, a payday loan, and mm -hmm. that is not the way to it's go. Not, that's debt. That's God right. doesn't want to be in debt. Yeah. But that's another story. But how they can use their hobby. Yeah. Well, God gives everyone a talent. Yes. God gives everyone a gift. Everyone has something in them that's mm -hmm. God given. A dream, a vision, or an idea. It's in you. Mm -hmm. And whether that's, you know, making bracelets in your garage, um, you know, that's a gift that was given from God. Mm -hmm. And it, even if you weren't born with it, you know, and you learn it, that's yeah. that's still fine because God gives you the ability to learn it. Mm -hmm. And so no one is without anything. You know what I mean? Everything that you need is inside of you. You know, the kingdom is within it's us. In us. Everything that you need is in the kingdom, and the kingdom is within you. How do you tap into that? You just have to have a relationship. When you have a relationship with Christ, it, I mean, it's just automatically. But see, someone that's watching, to... um, they'll say, well, the people in the world, I know they don't have a relationship with God. I don't know if they do it if they don't. But one thing that I do know, they have a lot of faith, whether they yeah. consider it faith or not. Yeah. They'll just do it. Yeah. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, if it, it doesn't. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's right. But the key is you just have to step. You have, to, you you have to go out there. You have to do it. Mm -hmm. You can't say, nah, I'm not going to do that because it might fail. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. How many times did, did Edison try to create the light bulb before yeah. he succeeded? Yes. You know what I mean? 409 cleaner. Yes. I just learned about that. So, yes. you know what I mean? You have to fail in order to succeed. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's a part of the process. You have to do that. And you have to learn from it. Yeah. A failure is not a failure until you quit. Oh, I love that. It's not a failure until you quit. And so, actually, just having a hobby. Now, I'm just going to say it just the way it is. God has anointed your hands to take pictures. And now you have incentives. Mm -hmm. Profit. Yes. Money. Yeah. Cash. Yeah. Isn't that a blessing? It is a blessing. It is. But you could have been one who said, well, I don't want to do this. You know, there's something fly by. Yeah. No. The graphic design, the, the artistry that we see. Yeah. Everything that's in you, it can be you can use it to make money. I don't care what it is, if it's talking, you talk too much, you can use it to make that's money. That's what they told me. <laughs> that's what they told me. Just be quiet, Tammy. You no, talk don't too be much. Quiet. Don't be quiet. <laughs> yeah, so whatever it is that you, you put your hands to, you gotta bless it. Yeah. You know, you just gotta step out there. A lot of times it takes more courage than it does faith. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just if you're scared, it don't matter, just go. Do it just afraid. Do it. That's right. That's right. Because it'll leave. Oh, yeah. I promise you. It'll oh, leave. Yeah. yeah. Speak to someone's heart right now that's still wavering. They still want to step out, but they're afraid. They have nothing to lose because you don't have anything anyway. That's right. So just simply speak to their heart as we're ending this segment of just walking in faith and allowing God to be God in their life. Well, well life in itself is a faith walk. You know what I mean? Every Everything that you do in life, everything that you go through, you have to do it by faith. You know what I mean? Nothing just comes overnight. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it takes to succeed, do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Without sacrificing your morals and your beliefs and things like that. You know, but whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. You can accomplish it. You can. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. In your own, it is. But with God's grace, His ability to do for, for us what we can't do, you can succeed. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It may be impossible with man, but That's all right. things are possible to him yeah. that can believe. You know, with him, all things are possible. Sorry. Well, I love you all so very much. Thank you again, Courtney, for You're joining welcome. me. I'm telling yes. you, it's been a pleasure. I, I love it. You will be back very soon. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Once again, the, the contact information is on the screen. Text him, uh, email him, Facebook him. Just go to his website. It's simple. You'll find him in all the social media arenas. And um, let your voice be heard. I guarantee you guys open this door. You just have to walk in. Well, God bless you. We'll see you next time on the Tammy Tub Show. Be blessed.